Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you're having a great, uh, well, week so far, or hope you had a great week because week uh, weekend is here. In this video, we'll still talk about uh, some some serious business. We'll talk about Caspa. We'll do a full technical update. Um, I've been covering, and I, I also said that I would cover Caspa daily. Uh, so that's what we're doing right now. We'll do a full technical update. We'll talk about some fundamentals um, and just in general, I think everything you need to know. Uh, but that's what we'll do. So before we dive into that, I do want to mention that I have my own premium trading group in which I share my own trades as signals. Um, and I'm a profitable trader for quite a long time now. But you also gain access to a chat room full of traders and my trading guide. So you can actually become a better trader and a profitable trader yourself as well. And the ultimate goal is that one day you'll leave, all right? But uh, if, if you're interested in that, consider joining. Links will be down in the description or the pinned comment. For now, let's get into Caspa. So first of all, purely technically, Caspa is 100% bullish right now, all right? There, there's nothing you can say against that. Um, it's uh, the, the market structure is very bullish. It's It hasn't even dropped down to the 0.382 FIP of the move up. So technically, it is very, very bullish. But there are some other things we, we need to take a look at and we need to take into account, which we will also do in this video. So <clears throat> we did find some resistance at around 5 cents. That isn't the end of the world. As you can see, historically, um, resistance like this resembles resistance like uh, we have seen all of the time before moving up higher. Um, and we're not really making lower lower highs. I mean, not, not a new high has been put in yet. Uh, and if we take a look at some other stats, some other numbers, which are also interesting to take a look at, what you'll see is that the volume and the open interest of Caspa have dropped down, all right? So this is a significant bearish confirmation. Uh, whether you like it or not, it, it just is, all right? Usually if the open interest and the volume starts dropping like this, it's bad news. But then that really goes against the technicals, all right? Because I do anticipate Caspa going lower right here. But then what you'll have and what you'll see is that there's this major support level right here uh, between between 4.6 and 4.4 cents, uh, which has a has has a range of support. Like you could even say it's between 4.3 and 4.6, which I know is a huge support level, but that also um, <laughs> that also is an indication of how much support there is. I mean, it's basically the whole area between the 3A2 FIP and the 0.618 FIP, which is supported with key levels, trend lines, uh, FIP and, or, or uh, EMAs. So that's very strong. So I would say it is likely that Caspa will get some more bearish momentum here. Um, but the most likely scenario for now is that it just grabs liquidity from that 4.5, 4.4 cents area. And that from there will start going up again. And that will we, we can start talking about new all-time highs again after breaking above 5 cents. So that's the most likely scenario right now, purely technically. Like I said, I mean, it's, it's not unimportant that the open interest and the volume are dropping down right now. Um, but it's also, it, it's also quite logical. I mean, if the... If the price stays at in, in one particular range for some time, volume is obviously going to drop down and open interest from here is still relatively high and could still continue going up from this from, from this point. So um, there's no reason to worry right now. For now, Caspa is still very bullish. If there will be reason to worry, I will tell you about it. So for example, if Caspa now drops down to that level and it, for example, finds resistance at 4.6 or 4.7, while the open interest in the volume is still dropping down, then that might be a problem. Um, but this is a purely hypothetical situation, which right now is definitely not going on. So like I said, I will be covering Caspa daily. I will keep you updated on that. For now, it still looks very bullish, even though we, I, I do expect some sort of a, a liquidity spike down below. So that's my full take on it for now. Uh, if you do have any questions, let me know. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching. Take care and, uh, and bye.